We're waiting for a taxi to head over to a um, really old children's elementary school that's made out of wood, like completely made out of wood. They have all these old um, tools and stuff, and we can go inside. So we'll see what that's like. Arigatouzaimasu. This is where we were coming, the old school. Oh, we're gonna have to take our shoes off. Oh, oh, it's a ring toss. Yes, Lily, they've ringed us. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 yes! <laughs> you can you do it. Oh, I only I only did one and I, I have yes. <gasps> Boat halfway in. And now this room. Oh this doorway is hecka low. I'm five foot five. 166 centimeters. Styling dude. Ancient Japanese gang sign. You know he wants to fight. Check out the view that these kids have, yeah. Sorry, I'm late for class. Beauty sensei, what are we learning today? We're learning the world. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yes. Finally. We're gonna just go to the place I'm just gonna play, so. Okay. We're going to... <laughs> <laughs> that globe is confusing me right now. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> I don't even understand what Oh, this is Africa. Is this Algeria? Yeah, Algeria. It was Algeria! Yes! Good job! Did I pass my geography quiz? Yes. <laughs> Yay! Is this the headmaster? Looks like a swell guy. We've made it to the restaurant. We managed to get the same exact taxi somehow. So we're at a special restaurant where the meal comes in these little bamboo containers. I got honey, which is crab. The wafamishi is the bowl. What did you get? It comes in oysters. Oysters. It's still really hot. It's really good. Mm. This was delicious, but it was very filling. They're so nice here. The owners came over and kept talking to us throughout our meal. And they're really sweet and interested in hearing where we're from. They talked about how their child studied abroad in Canada. It's really sweet. I really love these smaller towns like this because people are more likely to talk to you and you can have like real conversations. So I think like all of my best experiences interacting with Japanese people have been at smaller places like this. They want to know if anyone needs an umbrella. Mm. Oh my gosh. What the good? Hi. Hi. So sweet. So sweet. See, that's what I'm talking about. They're so nice in cities like this. I highly, highly recommend trying to talk to the people at like small restaurants when you visit. They're just so sweet, usually. I really love this. This really, this is like Japan to me. The people who are just friendly and happy to talk to you. This is my favorite part of traveling here, honestly. We lost Millie. I have no idea where she went. <laughs> the Pandayaki store is right there. That's where she went. Everything's so close to each other here. Is it like a normal deal or were they just like, here, have one for free? She was like, this is bonus, this one. Bonus? <laughs> so nice. So we got free umbrellas and then Millie just got a free panda yaki. <laughs> oh, oh, not real people. Not real people. We have come to the shrine. Actually, the boys are supposed to be at the shrine today and we're supposed to come back at night, but we found out there's deer. And so we've come early to go find the deer. These are the Shinroku, or God Deer. In ancient times, deer were believed to be the messengers of the gods, and these deer at Yahiko have been considered holy for so long that they are now designated as a protected species, along with these chickens. These are holy chickens. They have one of each kind of holy chicken. They're all different colors. Whoa, whoa, look at these. Look at this dude. This dude's got like the... F hey, hey buddy. The deer are so important that there were even poems written about them more than 1300 years ago in the Man Yoshu, Japan's oldest poetry anthology. As one of Japan's oldest shrines, Yahiko also maintains an ancient tradition. In most of Japan's 80,000 plus Shinto shrines, the custom is to clap twice before praying to the gods. 
At Yahiko, you clap four times. Some say this is the praying tradition of ancient Shinto. During the Meiji era, Imperial Japan attempted to unify Shinto shrines throughout Japan by enforcing state Shinto, which standardized the praying method as two bows, two claps, one bow. Only a few of Japan's most ancient shrines maintained their traditional method of four or more claps. I was told that even in Yahiko, not everyone knew the correct way to pray, but to be brave and clap four times even if no one else was doing it. At the shrine, I waited for 10 minutes, watching dozens of visitors pray, and not one of them clapped four times. I wondered if it was really a thing, or if no one actually cared about it anymore, until... Time and time again, I'm amazed to find places in Japan that still aren't that well known yet, despite the fact that they should be. Like GBK Gorge and Gujo Hachima, Yahiko Village held a beautiful appeal that transported me away from the crowded and impersonal cities of Japan. <laughs> I really want to encourage anyone who comes to Japan to take a break from the big tourist centers and get out into the countryside where traditions are undisturbed and people are curious and welcoming. I think we all enjoyed Yahiko. You can check out June's and everyone else's videos down in the description box. See you guys later.